David says this in verse 3, you can be sure of this, the Lord, say these two words with me, he what? Set apart. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. This world we know is a troubled place. There is bigotry, there is injustice, there is anger, there is violence, there is worry, there is stress, there is chaos, on and on and on. But the good news is, is if you are a child of God and you have been set apart, turn to somebody wherever you are and say, you have been set apart. You do not have to participate. You don't have to join in it. I was telling you about my, my mother-in-law, and she lives with us, and uh, she's never really been around dogs, and we have, um, well, we have a small pony. We have Otis. Otis is our great Dane, and for some reason, he loves Evelyn, loves Evelyn. So he will follow her into her room, and then he'll lay down. The problem is, when Otis lays down, he, he takes up the whole floor, and so she can't move around in her room. He's also a Great Dane, and if you know Great Danes, they, they drool a lot. And so he will drool, and then he'll shake <laughs> like that. And it just goes, boom, 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 lands everywhere. So she decided, you know what, I'm done with this. And so when Otis would follow her and come behind her, she would just put up a baby gate. And Otis would walk up to the gate, and he'd just look over like, hey, we're buds, we're friends. Like, wait, I, we, we, why can't I come in? What, what, what's happening? I'll tell you what some of us need to do, and maybe you need to do. We need to set up a gate. You you need to say, you are not allowed into my life. Some of those voices you're listening to, some of those people you're listening to, some of the news threads you're on, some of the social media sites that you're on, you need to shut them down and say, no, no, I, I have been set apart, and I am setting myself apart.